today i learned something really interesting and uh, i also want to share it with uh, you guys now in jira software if you're working on your board whenever you click on an issue there is a detail issue view that is opened on the right hand side now let me first to show you what i mean so let us say you look you're looking at your issue and if you click on the issue here while you're on uh, the backlog or maybe the detail uh not the detail but basically the active sprint you the moment you click on the issue there is a new display here that opens on the right hand side where you can view the view the details of the issue now this is what i was talking about so this is something really interesting because uh, you can take a look at the details and it looks nice i personally prefer this view um because you need to know sometimes you need to understand uh, you know priority or maybe you want to read the description so this is really interesting um and there is actually this option called uh, hide or show the detail view that will let you disable this feature if you want so right now i just enabled it and if i click on the cross button here now the the the, the window on the right hand side is gone but this was actually <coughs> um a new feature released in uh, version 8.11 now first let us go back to the question so this question was asked by how can i turn off the display of issues on the right side of the of the screen so this question was asked by wayne arfling arfling and uh, he is talking about uh, the exact same thing but he wants to disable it now someone actually replied to to the question uh, stephen gobbo actually suggested this uh, this feature this toggle and he also mentioned that this feature is available starting from jira 8.11 now the feature was uh, the feature request or suggestion is this one let me first increase the size and uh, this issue on uh, jira software server and data center project basically you can go to jira.atlassian.com and you can report issues or bugs and uh, this was released this particular feature to toggle between showing or not showing the detail view is now available starting from 8.11 and uh, this is applicable for both the active sprint and the backlog so while you're act while you're on active sprint so right now it is enabled i can disable it like you can click on hide detail view and uh, you can now see that it won't open anything on the right hand side if i go to the backlog i have the option here to again enable it or disable it the toggle so this is something that i thought uh, i'll share with all of you this is important because uh, if you are in this field uh, or basically if you're using jira products maybe you you are uh, solving your problems or maybe you are helping others like maybe you are a jira administrator jira administrator or maybe you are a consultant or maybe you are a developer or maybe you are working with jira basically if you are doing something with jira i think it is always good to keep track of or at least be aware of uh, new features and that is what i am also doing on this channel i am trying to show you and share you very quickly within few minutes how you can uh, uh, how you can stay updated especially uh, if these things are relevant and especially if you are a jira administrator i think uh, i'm sure someone will ask someone will probably ask you that you know i want to disable this view so now you know that if you are on jira 8.11 onwards then you have the option to use this feature otherwise uh, you can also disable this uh, view on the right hand side by using the um by using the css so let us try the css part as well and uh, i'm basically copying i'm basically sh uh, shamelessly copying this css from the atlassian uh i mean their jira instance so if i go to my jira instance right now it is uh, 
let me enable it first so show the detail view and uh, by the way if you are if you want to do the same thing you can also uh, let us say you have to apply your own css you can always copy it in the announcement banner but if you inspect element if you do inspect element on your browser <clears throat> you can figure out by simply using the inspect so i'm just trying to to figure out the the id so i think this is the g h x detail issue so this is basically the id of your content if i click on it and uh, maybe on the right hand side if i simply do something like this maybe uh, display none i believe that should that is what i can do so now it is gone it is of course not really this uh, i think i need to probably apply this at this level ghx hyphen detail hyphen contents let me try to display none this um so this i mean it has it has basically emptied the content but let me take a look at the css so it is the same thing i think uh, i think it will probably work but uh, it is probably not uh the expected uh or desire this might not be desirable but let us see i'll probably go to the banner and uh, i will uh, announcement banner i guess oh no i'm using uh, the board while you're on the board um the tot will actually let you do something with the board not the gr admin uh, options so let us go back to the admin section and uh, if i type in here banner i can go to announcement banner and i'll basically copy the same thing the same css but uh, i want to see how it works most likely it will not work it will i mean user can still click on the issue and uh, it will still open something on the right hand side with empty content but there is a way of doing it using css i'm sure you can always uh, do a bit more with this with the help of css but we are just trying trying the suggestion from atlassian to disable that so if i now click on this uh, this link so yeah it has indeed uh, disabled and uh, right now of course we have we have the toggle here which is still show not it is, i mean it should be appearing but it is not because we are using that css but the good thing is that in the new in the new version of uh, jira you have the option you have the option to just disable it and uh, that is all i wanted to share in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much